Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of PFN Reacts. I am one of your hosts, TJ Cornwell, and today, or tonight actually with me, I do not have Sean. He is at work currently. I have Mr. Brandon Friedman. Hello, Brandon. Hi, how are you doing? I am uh, very well. Um, so this trailer for Visions came out, Star Wars Visions. From what I have been told by Sean, this is a like animated short feature type like they're doing short films but animated and they're doing like seven of them or something like that yeah um, i'd seen uh, did you watch any of it or no already nope okay, no cool. i just saw like it on twitter like it was trending or whatever okay, recently cool yeah. cool all right so uh we're gonna watch this and then we will give you our thoughts afterwards so uh we're gonna press play in three two Star Wars Visions is going to be an exciting anime anthology series. Anime. Disney Plus in September. <laughs> Japanese animation inspired a lot of the people at Lucasfilm over the years. We loved the idea of seeing Star Wars expressed in that way. Each one of these studios that we approached, we found hardcore oh, wow. Star Wars oh, fans. Wow. They all had a story they wanted to tell. あ、初めてスターウォーズの企画っていったらもう、あれなんかこの there are so many genres at play. Big and bold, romantic and sweeping, funny, comedic. で、えっと、この作品独自のえっと、ロックオペラということで、日本の音楽文化みたいなことをしっかり描けたらなと。あの、国境の双子が生まれて、これがどうなるのかというのが基本的な設定ですね。ナイトセーバーって子供の夢が詰まったガジェットだと思うんですよね。で、それをさらに今回僕はもうちょっと和のテイスト。Wonder how long these are going to be. We try to have some retro vintage feeling. We couldn't skip the Astro Boy influence. People love Astro Boy. What I'm seeing is there's a director for like each one, a new director for each yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I could tell. I was thinking like same with like the seasons, or the seasons, the, like each studio or each like film or whatever is a different studio. Yeah, very samurai right here. Yeah. It kind of looked like the uh, that so short guy kind of looked like the evil guy from Pokemon Gale XD. So Gale of Darkness. I just think of Master Roshi. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's him. <laughs> Star Wars Visions is completely different than everything else in Star Wars storytelling. Audiences will fall in love with it. If they're doing like anime, like, so there's like two things with it. What was that like nine to ten? Look like? Yeah. Original. Oh, series. Okay. Okay. Well, that so, was episodes? the trailer for Star Wars Visions. Um, I don't think they said when it was coming out, but um, what, what what was your reaction to that? Oh, September. This September. Yeah. All right. So. Original reaction is uh, I'm not a huge anime buff, but yeah. I notice there's definitely some differences between popular animes and like how well they've succeeded and mm -hmm. what this looks like. And I hope that Star Wars has learned from the past with having different directors, and hopefully they have, if it is a series, that it is continuous and makes sense. So, yeah, yeah, I'm same with you. Like I. I dabble in anime here and there. Like, I watch Dragon Ball. I'm watching My Hero currently. Um, and I've watched things like Death Note or Cowboy Bebop, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, this looks really interesting. Obviously, uh, we both put it out. And they said it in the trailer. Like, Star Wars takes a lot from samurai culture. Like, everybody knows that, like, C-3PO and R2-D2 are based off the 
two characters in the hidden the hidden fortress from uh, Kurosawa. So this would make this makes complete sense for them to kind of go back to like the roots of Star Wars and try to explore and um obviously we've seen Star Wars animated, but we've never seen it kind of animated in the style. Um in the obviously anime style, I guess. Um but yeah, I thought this looked really cool. Um and seeing it's a series, I don't know if that means like chronological you know what I think like that means like each episode like is an anthology like it's different each episode or something like that yeah um, i would hope they would, that's what they would go with it yeah because it had so many different studios so i just assumed it seems like it'd be that you know each episode would be a different story or something like that um but yeah that was our reaction to star wars visions coming to disney plus this september um as always i'm one of your hosts tj cornwell joined by mr brandon friedman um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe in this video. Let us know what you thought of the trailer for Star Wars Visions. Um, and we will catch you in the next one.